Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Zone. Buying NFTs is great and very lucrative. However, making your own NFTs and selling them is even cooler. It allows you to participate in a whole new world of art. In today's video, we'll discuss how to make and sell NFTs. Also, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more NFT content. Without further ado, let's head into the video. The NFT Blockchain Dapper Labs has developed its own blockchain technology, which it calls Flow. That is one of the emerging blockchain platforms, according to Coindesk, that is gaining traction among non-financial institutions. Other cryptocurrencies in that sector include Binance Smart Chain, Tron, EOS, Polkadot, Tezos, Cosmos, and Wax, among many more. Nonetheless, for the time being, the Ethereum blockchain continues to dominate NFTs. While having a variety of options might be beneficial, it can also make the process more complicated, since an NFT generated on one blockchain may not be able to be sold on an exchange that does not support it. For many markets, it's essential to use some sort of digital wallet in order to acquire an NFT in the form of cryptocurrency that the marketplace accepts. The one noticeable exception is NBA Top Shot, which takes credit card payments in addition to cash. On their corporate blog, they classify that their aim is for Dapper to enable purchases using whatever type of cash, from fiat to cryptocurrency, that they choose. For the time being, the crypto forms available are ETH, BTC, and BCH. The firm intends to expand its offering over time and it's committed to working cooperatively with other blockchains, despite the fact that other blockchains do not naturally interact with one another. The number of markets is expected to continue to grow in the foreseeable future. Right now, the most popular ones are OpenSea, Rarible, SuperRare, Nifty Gateway, Nifty Gateway Lite, Foundation, Axie Marketplace, Bakery Swap, NFT Showroom, Viv3, and NFT Showroom Lite. If you choose OpenSea as your NFT provider, that indicates that you will require ETH to pay for your NFT. It's the same as needing to exchange your American dollars for Canadian dollars if you want to make a purchase in a Canadian store that doesn't take credit cards. To give you an example, is it time for your business to accept Bitcoin? See also, is it time for your business to accept Bitcoin? Your payment must be received in the format that is recognized by the site. As a result, you'd seek for wallets that accept Ethereum. When the NFT you desire becomes available, many of them will be ready to make your purchase. These include MetaMask, Trust Wallet, and Coinbase Wallet, among others. By the way, have you ever made your own NFT? Let us know in the comment section down below. How to make NFTs You begin by generating the file that will be offered for sale as an NFT on the NFT marketplace. GIFs are animated pictures that can be either static or movie. JPEGs and PNGs are both examples of static images. You may also utilize audio files or a combination of audio and visual files to create your presentation. Additionally, a 3D printing model may be converted into an NFT. Then, just like you would with a purchase, you would choose your marketplace and configure your digital wallet in the appropriate manner. Alternatively, you may determine the type of blockchain and or cryptocurrency you want and then choose the marketplace that supports that form of blockchain and or cryptocurrency. When it comes to markets, from the point of view of the developers, Coindesk recognizes the three most important ones that uses the Ethereum blockchain as OpenSea, Rarible, and Mintable as the three most important ones. It should be noted that it's also possible to produce on Maker's Place, however this is only available to artists who have been listed and who have registered on the site. The procedure is essentially the same for the three individuals mentioned. By selecting the Create button in the upper right hand corner of the screen, you'll be given the opportunity to link your Ethereum-based wallet to the platform. There are some differences across platforms in terms of the specifics of the following phase, but it's essentially the same. Consider the OpenSea platform, where you may hover over the Create button, choose My Collections, and then click the Create button to complete the process. Then you may upload your file, label it, and describe what you're uploading in a new window that will appear. This generates a digital file that may be added to your collection. You'll be assigned a picture that will serve as a unique identifier for your collection. After that, you would click on the pencil icon in the upper right hand corner of the page to insert your banner picture into it. That's the first setup. 
To really construct your NFT, you must first select add new item and then use your wallet to sign another message in order to complete the process. After that, you'll be presented with a window in which you may upload the file that will be converted into an NFT. However, while OpenSea does not charge producers for creating NFTs, they are subject to Ethereum gas taxes, which are equally applicable to purchasers. According to OpenSea, the free transactions consist of the following items. Minting a new NFT, aka lazy minting, creating a collection, listing an NFT as fixed price, listing an NFT as auction, reducing the price of an NFT you've listed. However, gas fees are incurred from the following, accepting an offer, transferring or gifting an NFT to someone, buying an NFT, canceling a listed NFT, canceling a bid, converting wrapped ETH, WETH, back to ETH, and vice versa. It does, however, provide one piece of advice to creators because the gas price is very depending on how busy the network becomes as a result of many transactions. Individuals who wish to decrease their expenses should finish their transactions during off-peak hours. As a general rule, weekends are less busy than weekdays, so frugal manufacturers should keep this in mind when putting their non-traditional toys on the market. Also, make sure to write your thoughts on our tips in the comment section. How to sell NFTs Identify the NFT you wish to sell, click on it, and then click on the Sell button. This will take you to a pricing screen where you may choose the terms of the transaction, such as whether it will be sold at a fixed price or put up for auction. The method of payment for the sale will be determined by which form of payment is accepted on that site. According to Coindesk, Ether and other ERC-20 tokens are the most common cryptocurrencies for which you can sell your NFTs. But some platforms only support the native token of the blockchain on which they were built. These are subject to change, then you'd go to the Edit button on OpenSea which supports smart contracts, sign the message with your wallet, and then scroll down to choose which ERC-20 token you'd take and which royalty option you'd want. Due to a feature included in the smart contract, royalties may be produced for each NFT sale, allowing the artist to receive money that is not restricted to the first sale. Please keep in mind, however, there are some additional expenses associated with the sales process, including accepting the offer and transferring the item. This is why you must prepare for pricing that will, at the very least, cover those costs, or else you may end up losing money on the transaction altogether. The monies will be sent to your digital wallet as soon as the transaction is completed. Alternatively, you can leave them in place to support future NFT-related activities or because you anticipate the currency's value will grow in the near future. However, you may cash out in whichever currency you want to use, just as you can change your Canadian dollars back to American dollars when you leave the country. Some see NFTs as the future of collecting and a fantastic opportunity to invest, while others see them as a bubble that will definitely burst in the near future. It's also important for aspiring NFT producers to know that for every sale of a multi-million dollar item, there are hundreds more available at prices so cheap that the creators would barely break even on their investment. Nonetheless, we're likely to witness an increase in the number of people who try their hand at it in the hope of selling digital assets that would generate large bids and headline-grabbing figures. What do you think about this guide on how to make and sell your own NFT? Are you planning to create your own NFT? Let us know in the comment section. That brings us to the end of the video. I hope you had fun watching it. Give us a like if you did and subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Also, activate the bell to get notified for all of our upcoming videos on the world of NFTs. Enjoy your day and I'll see you in the next video.